Hey guys, Scott here. In this tutorial, I want to look at creating new users in Joomla 1.5. Now, users can be used, like you can create new users for many different reasons. You can create new users if you need to give someone like temporary access to your Joomla administrator to help you with something, to change something, to add something, whatever. Or if you have multiple people running the one site, you can make um, multiple author accounts so that people can log in and publish content but can't change main Joomla settings and stuff. So you can create new users for many different reasons. So if you want to create a new user, first just log into Joomla. So it's just your site.com wherever Joomla is installed followed by forward slash administrator. Now once you've logged in from the admin side, you can either click user manager here or you can go to site user manager. So just click either one of those. Now on a fresh install, there'll only be one user, which is the admin for Gmail, which was the pretty much you when you created it, the login details you made then. Now you'll see it's assigned to the group of a super administrator. That's the highest level you can have. So now we want to create a new user. So all you do is click new user here in the top right. Now from here, type in the name of the new user. The username, this will be the one they used to log in. Their name will be like, if they publish articles, that'll be their author name. So this is just their actual real name. And this is their username to log in. Their email account. And then just the username and password for them to log in. Now here is where you choose what they actually, what privileges they get. So if they're just a registered user, basically all they get to do is access registered content on your website. So they wouldn't actually get to log into the back end here. They would only get to see this and they'd be able to log in here if you have a login form on your site. And then if you've got any restricted content for registered users only, that'll be shown to them after they've logged in. But if you want to make an author so that they're allowed to publish articles, just select author. These here, you'll notice it says front end. So these are all for people that don't log into the administrator side that have extra privileges. So authors are allowed to publish articles. Then you've got editors, which can change articles on the site um, and publishers, etc. But if you want people to have access to the administrator side, this you want to use the public back end. Now you can make a manager. Um, administrator and super administrator. Now when you make a super administrator, you can't actually delete super administrators. So don't make those out freely. But if you do make one, you actually have to come back in and edit them down to a manager or an administrator before you can delete them. But you won't really need to give anyone super admin. If someone needs access to your site as an administrator, just give them this one. And if you have other people um, if you run the site with a bunch of other people and you all have the same the same rights and stuff like that and you're all running it in partnership together, just you're probably better off giving them everyone a super admin. It's up to you however you want to set it up, but that's how you set up all the different groups. So let's just say I wanted to make a new administrator. Uh, you can block the user from logging in if they've already got an account and you want to block them, but you just leave that for now. Um, do you want this person this person you're creating now to receive um, system emails. If they're an administrator and you want them to receive system emails, just tick yes, otherwise leave it no. Now here is where you get to choose just some more parameters. Um, the language you can choose, and if you don't have any, any other languages set up on your site, just ignore that. But if you have multiple languages, choose the language there. Um, the editor that they use when they add posts edit stuff, just the editor they use for editing. You gotta select one here. Usually just leave it on plain select editor unless you install a new editor to your website because if you install a new extension which is an editor, you'll actually have to come in here for each user and select the editor from this list so that that's your default editor. Otherwise it'll just use the basic Joomla one. You don't really need to worry about that. And then just time zone, change it to your current time zone or the person's time zone or whatever time zone you want it to be set to. So basically the most important stuff when creating a new user is their name, username, 
email account password group. So you want to make sure you get all those right and put them in the right group. And also just select um, if you've got another editor you've installed through the extensions for Joomla, which I recommend doing and I show you later on in a different tutorial how to do that. Um, once you've installed other editors, you can select them from this list. For now, just leave it at select editor and just check change the time zone. They're pretty much the only things you really need to worry about for each user. Once you've done that, click save and then that will be a new user. And you can see they're assigned to the group administrator, the username, and they're not currently logged in. So if you wanted to delete this person, just select them and then delete. You can edit their details. You can create new users, make as many users as you need to. But that's basically all there is to making new users. So make as many as you need to.